everybody, Brandy here doing my comments for my Stampin' Studio today. Today I wanted to show you a kind of a trick uh, to the Stamparatus. And as you all probably know, the Stamparatus is Stampin' Up's um, latest uh, tool to do stamp positioning. And um, I find that I use it a lot when I'm doing multiple cards. And what I kind of struggled with at first, but figured out a workaround, was how to do a stamped image that comes off the page. Now, when I'm stamping with a, a clear block, um, it's, it's really easy to do because you just position the stamp um, off the card. Um, and then, you know, it basically cuts off the edge. But it's hard to recreate that um, and in the exact same position. And if you're, used, if you're wanting to make the same exact um, stamp image on multiple cards, that's hard to do. And so I tried to figure out how to do that on my Stamparatus. And, um, well, I kind of think I figured out a workaround. So let's get started. All right, let me switch the camera around. Okay, so let's get started here. Um, so traditionally how I use my Stamparatus to get this, the image in the exact same place is I butt it up to the corner there and then just, um, you know, stamp my image that way and then it always comes out in the same place as long as my paper is the same size. But if I want to stamp off the edge, how do I do that? Well, I decided that if I, I placed, um, I cut a piece of our grid paper out and I tried to line it up as best as I could um, to the grid that's already on there, but I didn't want to have ink on my Stamparatus. I'm sure you could probably um, clean it up, but I wanted this to, um, to do over and over again, and I didn't want to have to stop each time to clean up that ink spell. So what I did was I kind of figured out where the paper, in my case, um, I'm doing a uh, stamped image, um, and this is... Uh, see three and nine sixteenths by um, two and a half and um, I just sort of figured out where that is sort of center in that graph paper and then I just made a little notch on the corner in which I want that to be and then of course I'm just going to use my magnets to hold that in place I'm using the Heartfelt Blooms, which is a retired um, stamp set, but I really like it, and unfortunately, I'm making um, sympathy cards. A friend of mine, um, uh, she's actually my pastor and a good friend of mine, her niece just passed away from colon cancer. And so um, I know her, her mother, and her brother who are all affected by this death, and so I want to make multiple sympathy cards. So, um, I was trying to figure out, you know, the best way to do that. And so I really wanted to use my Stamparatus. All right. So basically I've got that all stamped up and I had already positioned it where I wanted it. Let me just make sure those magnets are going to stay out of my way. Yep. All right. And see, you can see it stamped off the edge and that's exactly what I wanted. All right. Put that away. Put my next one in. These magnets are really, <laughs> really strong. You have to be careful with them. Yep. And I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna make one for each person. And then um, I'm gonna make a couple of extras because unfortunately, you never know when you're gonna need a sympathy card. And I have found in the past that when someone passes away, I say to myself, oh, I need to make a sympathy card for the family. Then I run out of time, I don't have it ready. And then time goes by and then I end up having to just buy a card because I didn't have time to, to make one, so. I've decided that I was going to make a couple extras as I make these for my my friends, my friends, yes, my friends, and um, and her family. So my last one. Oh, 
Oops, looks like there's a little line in that. Let's try that again. That's what I love about this Stamparatus is that if you haven't gotten the ink all the way, you can just leave your paper there and re-ink it. So you don't waste the paper. That looks better. All right, so I'm gonna flip the, the uh, oh, and by the way, um, I adhered this paper down just by using a little mini glue dot. And so um, it's not gonna be hard to get up. So that's what I use the grid paper for, and I just sort of placed it on there as even as I could um, using the grid that's on the Stamparatus. All right, let's flip the camera back over. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this little technique using your Stamparatus, and I hope it inspires you to be able to kind of think outside the box in terms of what you can do with your Stamparatus. And I'm also going to be posting a link down below to the video um, that I'm going to put together that has the whole card. Oh, goodness, my hair is all messed up. Um, that puts all the coal card together so you can kind of take a look at the uh, final project. I also have a link down below where you can get access to my tutorials for free. And um, I'll be putting a supply list down of, of the items that are not retired that you can uh, purchase to make this card. Um, you know, the stamp set may be retired, but you can always kind of substitute with something else that's in our new catalog. All right, if you like this video and you want to see more, please do do me a favor. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, be sure to comment down below the next trip, next tip or trick you want to see. All right, life happens, I comment, stamp me some love.